Hello and welcome to the show. Today I'm going to be playing some Forza Motorsport 1. We're going to have all of the nostalgia as I'm actually going to start a new career mode since my profile has long since been corrupted on here and I haven't played this game in many, many years. I'm going to see kind of how it holds up compared to the uh, the newer ones. Yeah, I fancied having a go with uh, with some some more of the uh, the more classic racing games. So we're going to start a new career mode. Um oh, I remember this. Yeah, we get to pick our home region. So home region determines the availability and starting costs and rarity of cars. I always quite like this system. It's an interesting system. A little bit different. Um yeah, home home region does not affect the tracks and so on. But uh, right, so we get a choice. We can either go for North America you know, where the American cars are going to be cheaper, or we can go, you know, wh wherever you go. It doesn't affect it a huge amount, it's only a little bit. I think you might be able to change home region later on. But seeing as I like my muscle cars, and we're probably going to have a choice of American cars to start with if we start in North America. We're going, yeah, we're going here. I'd like a muscle, I'd, I, I think maybe a muscle car might be pushing it a little bit. <gasps> I've just seen what we could go for as our first car. <gasps> The mighty Chrysler PT Cruiser. I might have to... Have we got a hideous colour? Yes, we can have hideous, hideous purple. Uh, <laughs> to be fair, the purple colour might work on a nicer car. On a, cry, on a PT Cruiser? Hmm, no. Uh, right, well, we got a choice-wise. Can we... Ah, oh, we can't have anything too exciting. Probably not too surprising. Eagle Talon. Eagle Talon is always a good car. Uh, in fact, I think Eagle Talon's been in... Must have been in every Forza game. Uh, pretty much. It's sometimes a little bit of a forgotten car, but it's actually a pretty decent vehicle. So we can have the Eagle Talon. That's a sensible, a sensible choice of vehicle. Or we can have... Uh, that's Curus. I don't remember that. A Cura of some sort. Definitely don't remember this thing. Um, or we can have the uh, the more modern... Well, the, the RSX, essentially. The, 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 the more modern of the Integras. A Lexus, IS300. Or an SVT Focus. Uh, no, we've got to go for the Chrysler. We've got to go for a silly bright purple... Well, yeah, a silly purple, maybe not quite bright purple, but silly purple Chrysler PT Cruiser is going to be my starting vehicle for reasons. Um, uh, have you have to select a home region for this profile? Okay, you can't change. You, later games, you could change the uh, the home region. Do you want to buy a Chrysler? Yes, I do. I definitely want a, uh, a turbo Chrysler PT Cruiser. Oh, uh, dear. Uh, <laughs> I, I've missed having this car available to mess around with. This is also, interestingly, the first um, appearance of the driver tars in the Forza series. It was a, an interesting little system where you could train up a driver to drive kind of on your driving style and then send him out to do races and stuff. It was quite interesting. Uh, let's set the difficulty, shall we? Uh, let's go stick everything on hard. Damage, full, tyre wear on. We want that on manual. Take off all of the assists. Voila. That will uh, that'll do it. Right, so suggested line. Let's get rid of get rid of that. Okay. I'm hoping, I, I'm hoping I'll still be fairly good at driving on here. I don't, again, I don't know how, how different it's going to be. Let us see what we can... Yeah, no, we can change difficulty. Um, right, okay, so we have got points, uh, point races uh, that are unlocked. That's an online career. That's not... I doubt the servers are still working for that one. Um, sure, let's, let's, let's start here with... Um, well, the only category that we can go open to cars originating from North America. Now, the class system is a little different. Oh, it's just North America. Please let them all... Okay, they're all around the same thing. The class system is, is, is a little different in that we have sort of D3, 2, 1 rather than an actual uh, full number. So it's a little bit more simplistic class system in uh, in this game new york is not quite the not quite the right new york circuit unfortunately uh, the new york circuit oh this one here's okay the new york circuit i like is the one with the chicanes uh, with the the chicanes down the straights is a, a absolutely fantastic circuit to race around this one here is very much sort of straight line speed biased uh, so i'm not sure that i'm going to fare particularly well but uh Hmm, okay, there we go. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed I won't end up last. Simulating qualifying. Uh, are you now? Are you, is either going to put me... Oh, it's probably going to put me at the back of the grid. That's normally what racing games like to do, so that you have something to uh, to overtake. Are we going to be at the back of the grid? Uh, Forza, let's see. Uh, oh, we're third. Okay, we're kind of in pairs, are we? I'm not quite sure how it calculated the, the qualifier in the grid positions. Never mind, I don't think it might be sorted by speed, but I don't think we're quite the, the, the speed here. Uh, right, let us begin. Now, there is no cockpit view 
in <laughs> Forza 1. And as far as I can tell, I don't think there's a bonnet view. There's just sort of different heights of camera. So I'm going to be driving from third person, which is very bizarre for me on, on a Forza game. But uh, there we go. Those Eagle Talons are bloody fast. Come back here. I need to win the race. I need to win in the mighty Chrysler. Uh, <laughs> Aha. I remember this circuit. I, it, is, it is a fantastic circuit. It's a bit weird to be driving it this way around. Normal, the, the normal layout would be going the other way, uh, or at least what I'm used to would be going the other way around this circuit. So slightly peculiar uh, driving this in reverse. Look at this! We're in the slipstream. We're catching on an Eagle Talon. Uh, how many laps? We've only got two laps. It's not exactly a, the longest of race. We're going to breeze. Well, I say breeze past. We're going to get past with. Uh, we'll pull alongside. Maybe not quite get past at this rate. Oh, damn it. Now he's going. Come on. You've ruined my fun. You ruined my fun. I don't know where to break. There was a little bit too late. Sorry, Eagle. But <laughs> I had no idea where the braking zone was for that corner. I may have made a mess of things. I mean, we didn't have too much of an accident. I only pushed you a little bit wide. Uh, scared myself quite a bit. I'm amazed just how familiar this feels to drive. I mean, the cars, it, it feels a lot more arcadey, certainly, than, let's say, Forza 6. Uh, but it does feel uh, sort of, yeah, very, very familiar. The car has a lot more grip just in general. It feels a lot more stuck on the road. Oh, crap, I'm forgetting where I'm going in... Uh, <laughs> Or forgetting where I can get away with braking, because I'm in, in, in a PT Cruiser. Uh, you can get away with a lot more, uh, a lot more in general in here. Like that, th those couple of corners where I've gone uh, very um, exploring, shall we say. Uh, <laughs> I shouldn't really be able to get away with that. That's uh, pushing my luck a, a little bit. There is, there is quite a lot of grip, and uh, yeah, it does in general feel quite forgiving. Uh, we are buggering off, though from the Eagle Talent, which is always good. The mighty PT Cruiser shall go, <laughs> go on to take victory. Unfortunately, there is no rolling, as far as I am aware, in uh, Forza 1. I don't think cars rolling over came until Forza 3. I don't think the physics engine let them. Or it might do if the thing's really glitched out. But, um, yeah, I don't, I don't think you could roll. I seem to remember trying to roll cars on Forza 2. Uh, a, a while back and I couldn't get them to it wouldn't let them do it we might have to go find um, a sunset and see if we can roll something oh there's an eagle talent coming it's not going to matter I didn't get fastest lap but I took the victory which is the important thing <laughs> uh, that's it uh, da I took a tiny little bit of damage from uh, what did I get 2% engine damage oh um, I, I may have buzzed the limiter at one point and I think that's what might have done that damage okay there we go. First race back on Forza 1. Hey, we've uh, leveled up. You've established a relationship with... Uh, why rated tyres for all... Oh, of course, there's different... Oh, God. The upgrade system was all different back here. I do seem to remember that tyre... There are different tyre manufacturers. That ju has just reminded me. We've got to have a look at the upgrade shop, shall we? Um, yeah, I know I know. we need to break. Break's important. I got that. Let's go have a look at the upgrade shop. You've, you've, you've got my curiosity now, game, because I do remember the upgrade system was very different. Uh, Customise your current car. Was there painting in here? Uh, yeah, there was. Ah, oh, there was. Oh, come on. We've got to, we've got to make an orange. Uh, <laughs> uh, an orange with black stripe Chrysler PT Cruiser. Again, you know, it's a lot more simplistic. Or should we have a... <laughs> <laughs> no, maybe we won't go for the Barbie pink Chrysler. Uh, yeah, you know, it, it's a lot more simplistic, but, you know, it's... Uh, it, it was... Let's face it, at the time that this came out, this was incredible. The, the, the amount of detail. Yes, yeah, I want to save the colour. The amount of detail and stuff that there was available, and sort of the customization uh, in here was, was fantastic. Yeah, sure, there, there has been, you know, there were, there were Gran Turismo games before this and so on, uh, but, and they had, you know, they had slightly bigger car lists and stuff, but this had a huge amount more customization uh, than anything else. Um, oh, we, can have, we can only have up to 100 layers, but still, you know, that's, uh, <laughs> that's plenty of them for me. That's, that's more than enough. Right. Uh, oh, that's not the button I wanted to press. Um, uh, right, how do I. Uh, Ah, there we go. That's how we do it. The triggers uh, jump uh, around between the things. I'm playing this on the uh, the 360, so uh, there are there, there are a couple of buttons, like the, the My Profile button that's supposed to be the, the weird little sort of circle black button that was on the original Xbox controller. I have no idea what that translates to on here. Uh, we, we're not really uh, making this a huge amount larger quicker. Right, let's move it, because that's faster doing it that way. Right, and... Uh, ah, crap. Don't tell me we're going to have some funky problems with the front of the car. We probably will. Uh, Gotta <laughs> got love cars with slightly strange, where it splits the um 
uh, what's it called? Like the front bumper and stuff. It's very nice. Is there a way of copying and pasting? Uh, layer options. Uh, ah, there is. I can only select multiples. I don't know if I can. There might be a way of doing it, but I don't remember. So let's just copy that one there. We'll have to... Uh, ooh, um, where do we get to front bumper? Front bumper? There we go. Oh, it's like there's like a, a little bit of... Uh, oh, there's a bit of car that we can't paint. That's disappointing. God damn it. Uh, unless it might be... No, it won't be the top because I've got the, the thing going across the top, haven't I? Damn it. It's not quite... <laughs> It's not quite, I can't move it up anymore. Uh, in fact, I'm trying to find the... Where is the... I don't know where the, the, the start of the sticker is, but yeah, either way, I can't move it up anymore, so there's going to be this whole great big gap. That's very annoying. Uh, oh well, we will just stick that down there and go across to, well, what about there-ish? I'm kind of just guessing. Oh, I missed one at the top on the wing. No, uh, sure, whatever, do your thing there. Uh, I've got to try and not... Uh, Got to try and not sort of work on instinct with what the controls were for uh, later games. There we go. Orange and black PT Cruiser. Fairly terribly done. For some reason that's... Oh, I, okay, I think that is the, that's the my profile thing, isn't it, taking me up there? Okay. Um, yeah, for some reason that seems massive, but I can't really be bothered anymore. Uh, <laughs> yeah, the idea, though. I didn't even remember about having all of this in the first first game. I, as I said, I probably never played a huge amount with it, but, it, you know, we've got the, the... It's close enough. Okay, yeah, save it to the car. That'll... <laughs> that'll do me. Right, let's go and... Uh, I was going to go upgrades. That's where we were going until I got distracted. Buy upgrades. Yeah, I think this works. Certainly with the tires, I think it works slightly differently. So, arrow and appearance. Um, what have we got? Have we got any... Oh, wow, we've got a surprising amount of alternate stuff for the car. <laughs> Oh, good God. Look at the hideousness of that. That is that is impressively ugly. That, that really is. Uh, what else? Oh, have we got any... Um, that's just some more. That's just some, Oh, wow. Hold on a second. I want that. <laughs> Look at the diffuser on that. Yes, I am having that. Can we get any more silly stuff on the, uh, on the Chrysler? Uh, bonnet? No, nothing massively exciting. Come on. Come on. Silly... Oh... Disappointing. No silly wing? Um, oh wow, you can actually change the brake lights. I don't remember that. Also, they are the ugliest things I think I've seen on this car so far, even more so than that front bumper. Um, <laughs> I am disappointed by no silly massive wing, but we have got a silly massive diffuser, so I will take that. Uh, does this actually make any difference? Yeah, sure, let's let's go stick that on there. Um, I got completely distracted. Chassis in drivetrain? Yeah, I guess the tyres are in... Okay, maybe the maybe it was something else I was thinking there. Or maybe if we go if we go into these, do we no, maybe it's something else I was thinking of different manufacturers of tires then. I swear there was a Forza game that did at some point, but um yeah, there there we go. I don't remember quite. Uh shall we go do some cheeky upgrading? Uh that puts it into C four. So uh sure, we'll do that. We'll be done, and then we'll go race in at the uh, at the next one. Yeah, that I'm pretty sure that maybe I'm thinking of another game. Maybe I'm thinking of another game where you uh, you could you could select different manufacturers of tyres. I don't know. Um, right, go racing again. Yes, we will go. What was it Road Atlanta? I think would be the next next track. Road Atlanta is one of the few tracks that has survived. Uh, like I say, Laguna Seca is in pretty much every single racing game ever. J -j -j ever Laguna will go in anything. For <laughs> even in mobile games, Laguna is in in most of them. So yeah, Laguna Seca will, will appear in pretty much any game. Road Atlanta has been in all the Forza games. Uh, I'm trying to think what other what other tracks have been in all the Forza games that are real world ones. Um, I guess Silverstone has been in all of them. But uh, yeah, things like Sakuba that are in this one. Uh, don't appear later on. I'd like to see Sakuba back. I'm not too bothered um, about uh, most of the tracks, but Sakuba is a good, fun kind of time attack sort of track, and I do quite like it for, especially for lower class racing. Sakuba is a great little circuit. Uh, we've had plenty, plenty of uh, fun in Forza Forza Four. We had the uh, we had Sakuba, so yeah. Uh, it's also surprisingly cloudy here. Uh, <laughs> around. Oh, we did not get off the line. Particularly, of course, the Eagle Talents are four-wheel drive, aren't they? No wonder they're going to get off the line so much faster than I am. Uh, <laughs> right, we shall. Ooh, we shall give him a little bit of a nudge. Where, where are we going? Where can we get? Uh, can we get him into turn one? Yeah, the, the handling is. It's. <laughs> it is surprising. It's only surprising to me just how how immediately familiar I am and comfortable I am 
with uh, driving this car. Oh, I can carry a lot more speed than you up here. We're going to go around the outside of the Eagle and we're going to have more than enough grip to make that manoeuvre stick and then we're going to have enough grip to kind of push it down there. I mean, the, the track, yeah, it does look, you know, quite different and let's face it, the graphics are quite... Well, this is very narrow. This is a lot, <laughs> a lot narrower and a lot nastier than than it is on Forza 6, especially sort of the transition onto it. But uh, yeah, I mean, you know, the, the graphics is a much, much older, a much older game. It has held up pretty well, I think. Oh, sorry, sorry, engine. Um, that is definitely something... Oh, crap, I've forgotten where I'm braking again. Uh, I'm, I was looking for the lines in the road before I realised that <laughs> there are none of the lines in the road that, uh, that, I, that I would normally, you know, use to measure oh, braking. Come on, get up the hill. Got it. <laughs> we just struggle a little bit coming up that hill. Yeah, apparently you damaged the engine by uh, buzzing into the limiter. Oh, I don't know when that got removed. Again, never remember doing that. Uh, oh, sorry, sorry car. Is there a way to look at damage? Uh, okay, I'm getting, there's no telemetry, I'm, I'm guessing. <laughs> um, right, oh, get slowed down for turn one. Yeah, I mean, this, this car handles pretty well, actually. i got to give credit. I mean, we mock the PT Cruiser for, well, being hideous. But uh, it's actually not too bad to drive uh, around here. Oh, and I could probably do with going into third down there. Uh, I could take that corner with some speed that the AIs don't uh, don't really like. I mean, you know, the, the fields are much smaller in here. We've got eight of us. Eight of us racing, and the other cars are, well, struggling. Oh, I may have pushed that a little too hard. No, it's fine. Just, just a little lift. A little lift, and we're fine. Uh, it's just the Eagle Talons that are <laughs> really putting up any sort of a fight. Are you going to try it? I've got to not make any silly mistakes into this into this chicane now down here. Are there lines on the road? Was I just being blind? No, there, there aren't lines on the road. So we'll have to guess with... Uh, there are boards along the side, which is pretty good. Whoa, that is a massive dive from the Eagle Talon. He almost got it stopped. No, he's going to put me around. Oh, come on. Go, PT Cruiser. I'm going to block you because you turned me around, so you deserve it. Uh, <laughs> that, is, I, that is an impressive overtaking manoeuvre. I will give... You know, they gave it a go. Okay, it, it was kind of more of the driver tars overtaking manoeuvre going on there from, you know, Forza 5 when they were kamikaze. But he, yeah, <laughs> he went for a big dive. I think I can push the cars more under braking than uh, perhaps I, than I am at the moment. Yeah, we took a little bit of damage. And mostly on the engine. Admittedly, a lot of that was me not quite sure what gear to be in and buzzing on the limbs was trying to get going again quickly from having a spun. Yay, we've got money off brakes and money off some other things. I can't remember if you get high enough. I don't think you get parts free. I doubt it. I, when you get to the higher the higher levels, I think you might even get money off cars for the higher levels. Um, yeah, I don't have automatic gearbox. That doesn't matter. Um, yeah, I know to buy upgrades and so on. We'll go to Laguna, shall we, for our final, our final race. Two laps around here. Hopefully, uh, no more completely kamikaze uh, <laughs> eagle talons. Yeah, I I don't remember the 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 the, the AI being as racy on uh, on here. In general, you know, Forza has had a pretty pretty good AI compared to to everything else. I like the AI on Forza Six. I think are pretty damn pretty damn good. They'll put up a fight, but they'll, on the most part, be fair. They will make the occasional silly mistake, especially in the rain. They really seem to struggle. Uh, and at Silverstone in the rain, they really seem to struggle. But, um, you know, the, the AIs have always seemed to put up a fight. And while I've probably got a, a slightly too fast for a car for... Uh, for for this, since I've you know got weight reduction and whatnot, and race against just kind of standard. Admittedly, it is a PT Cruiser, but still, we're going to race against standard vehicles. Oh, I'm going to be terrible off the line here. Thank you. Just what I needed. <laughs> I praised your AI, and then you're going to you know give me a shunt up the hill. I thought I might struggle a little bit uh, getting up that hill with uh, oh with front wheel drive car. Uh, he's actually now having a sniff around the outside. Is he going to try? He is going to try going around the outside of me. Oh, no, he's not. He's going to try and come back to the inside and wants to put me around. One thing that <laughs> is slightly peculiar is the cars kind of have like these invisible hitboxes around them that are slightly larger than the car. So you can get hit or you could turn a car around without ever actually touching it. It just looks a little bit peculiar. 
Uh, oh, carry the speed. Look at all of that speed I've carried through there and play it very risky on the curb. We're miles of, we're, we're pulling away. So we're miles ahead. We're pulling away from the cars behind. Uh, oh, I think we can break. Yeah, we can definitely. <laughs> the braking performance is definitely pretty good in this. And I'm changing down a little bit too soon. Right. Uh, yeah, that was, that, was, that was quite terrible. Go on, another PT Cruiser. I would slow him down if it wasn't for the fact that I kind of not in the lead. It is, if I was in the lead and that was for second, I would totally slow him down. Um, but as, as I kind of... Uh, need to get a move on. This is actually not not going quite to plan. I wonder what the core screw is like on the <laughs> on here. I have no idea really what's the uh, what to expect down here. Ah, we don't have the little. Okay, I'm used to having the little curbing bit now <laughs> to sort of aim for almost down there. Yeah, I was kind of expecting that. Oh, good God! There is sudden eagle talent there. It's giving me a. <laughs> He's, he's really going for it, you know, they they are putting up a decent fight, and I like that about them, definitely. Uh, even if we are currently in third, let's try and improve that into the final turn, shall we? Yeah, you can break super, apparently he can break super late, I can't break super late. I'll probably do with some better breaks. You can see how the cars, when they kind of get tangled together, it's, um, yeah, there's that slight invisible uh, hitbox. I'm actually surprised I haven't got any kind of visual damage. The Eagle Talon has taken a bit of a, a battering in the uh, in the bumpings my kill's okay which is odd i mean yeah you know damage was not the most amazing uh back him but for or back here but uh, it was pretty good again for the for the time you know you could scrape cars up there you go look at the front of the eagle talent there oopsie gears i remember in gears honestly uh <laughs> right let's go defensive through here because i know they'll have these huge monumental dives okay right we're safe now uh, I should probably stop worrying about the uh, eagle behind. Although, ooh, okay, we've slightly uh, clipped the curb, clipped the grass, dirt, whatever, through there. Leader has, has buggered off. Well, he can have this one. I've, I've dominated, well, I've, I've won the other two. Where can we break the two board? The two board there is too soon. It's, uh, <laughs> really, yeah. These brakes will take a little bit of getting used to because they are, the cars are super, super powerful under braking. Uh, and tend to be super, super grippy. Where are you going, you moron? <laughs> Was that really necessary? Uh, I'm gonna lose. I'm gonna lose the, my second place at this rate with your kamikaze driving. Them guys. Oh, go on, come on, Chrysler. Oh, you'd be chickened out of it. God damn it. Uh, where are they? I mean, they're, they're <laughs> that's literally breaking it. Well, but after the one board, almost. I think for that. E um, <laughs> That, that seems, I don't know about that, that seems a little dodgy, but there we go, the, the Chrysler has got, oh, not Chrysler, sorry, the Eagle has got the most amazing brakes imaginable, it seems, and uh, I perhaps do not, I should have upgraded the brakes, but all of the, sp uh, kind of the speed we can take through there, um, yeah, I haven't quite got the brake, <laughs> I'm so used to, well, I, ooh, crap, I, haven't, I definitely haven't got the, look at the, the, <laughs> the dive bombs going on, they are much better under brakes than I am around here, hmm, okay, um, yeah, I, uh, not so good, not so good under braking around this track. Damn, and then I was down in fourth, that was, that was poor, that was very poor. But, uh, we did some, da yeah, some bodywork damage as expected. Uh, not quite got the uh, gearbox sorted out either, but, uh, yeah, there we go. That was some, uh, some Forza Motorsport 1. I am very, very surprised just how familiar the handling is, although, admittedly, the, the, the brakes are very very powerful like really very very powerful uh it seems on here from uh, where i'd kind of be used to uh, to judging the braking markers but uh yeah the car handling itself was actually it's, it's a little bit more arcadey there's there's some more grip and and so on but uh yeah they they are still good fun to drive there are still uh, interesting cars to uh, to choose from in here and uh, you know I, yeah, I think it's held up really well. I think for the the original Forza Motorsport has held up really, really, really well compared to the Abonnet games. And, you know, you can still have uh, plenty of fun with this one. Yeah, it's interesting. Uh, experiment almost to go back and uh, and have a go with this. And, of course, we got to have uh, or got to drive the mighty Chrysler PT Cruiser. Anyway, that is it for this uh, video, guys. Thank you very much for watching. And until next time, uh, goodbye.